Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in to today's video blog. Um, today I have a question uh, from uh, Andy. And Andy says, what do you think about side effects of antipsychotic medications and the damage they can do to our physical health? Well, Andy, first of all, thank you for your question. And I just want to um, start by saying that with illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar, depression, uh, I feel very strongly through my own experience and through thousands of people that I've talked to over the years of publishing as uh, Z Magazine that um, um, medication is the foundation to recovery from mental illnesses. And uh, obviously that's a broad statement, but generally that holds true definitely for um, schizophrenia and, and bipolar. Uh, it's very important to realize that symptoms, psychotic symptoms of schizophrenia and bipolar need to be controlled. You have to get that chemical imbalance under control so you can get back into re reality. And usually what's happened is since 1994 we've had um, we've had major uh, uh, differences in medications that deal with positive symptoms on a great scale um, with lesser side effects. These are known as uh, atypical medications or be post 1994 medications that act differently than older medications that were basically more tranquilizers. However, there are side effects with the old medications, and there are still some side effects with new medications, with the newer medications, but they're not as severe. For example, some of the side effects used to be uh, a thing that's called tardive dyskinesia, and what that was is that that was twitching in the eyes or twitching in the face and the cheeks and, and twitching and things like that and uh, which was a common side effect for people who were on the old typical medications and apparently from my understanding is that that's uh, irreversible as well however with the newer medications you can still have side effects for example my side effects I have dry mouth uh, sometimes uh, if I forget to take my uh, oral medication as well. Um, I get this, uh, blurred vision. Uh, my leg sort of uh, twitches or, or convulses, uh, convulsions sort of taps up and down uh, once in a while. Um, sometimes my sleeping patterns uh, fall off. But usually what happens, what you have to take into consideration is the quality of your life. Whether your life is going to be better on medication or it's not going to be very well and again the, the the main purpose of medication is to get you back into reality so even though with the newer medications the side effects are, are, are lessened or there's less of them you still may have side effects such as drowsiness or weight gain um, you know things like that uh, the blurred vision but in general the medications once you find the right medication are are a little bit better but again it's all about quality of life and you have to decide am I gonna have a good quality of life on medication that controls my symptoms and that I can function or am I gonna be psychotic and let the symptoms of schizophrenia bipolar overcome and uh, have no side effects but be in a psychosis and not really uh, uh, coping in life so that's the that's the issues that we have here so Andy, hopefully I've, I've answered your question. And if you have a question for me, just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com. And thank you for uh, tuning into this daily video blog and have a great day.